So I got involved with the adult industry when I was in college in Santa Barbara. I began dancing. And um, from that point forward, a couple producers came in and they said that I was beautiful and that I would be great in romance movies. So I went to LA the next day and I shot my very first scene. And um, I felt so loved that day because I was put in hair and makeup. I was told I was beautiful. I was going to be a star. And they sent my pictures over to an adult agency who I was with for about two years. And um, the rest is, is pretty much history, I guess you could say. <laughs> how quickly did you go from that first time, kind of not knowing anything, into, I mean, you said how many years in the industry? Seven years. Seven years. And in that time, how many movies did you make? Hundreds. Hundreds. I did take a year break, but hundreds. I, I mean, when I was 18, I mean, I, I, they would dress me up like a teenager, like a little girl, and, and they made sometimes two, three scenes a day. Um, you know, I was working, I, I remember working like 60 some days in a row one time. And you talked a little bit before about what kind of toll that took on you, like, you know, what it took to actually get through doing scenes or where that left you maybe? Yeah, sure. I mean, not only does it leave you feeling drained, but I had to start finding ways to be able to do the scenes because I was so robotic. I was like a rubber Barbie doll. Like, um, I had no emotions. I was plastic. Like, you know, I would get undressed from the outfit I would wear to put on this cute lingerie just to get undressed to do a scene. And it, it led to... I felt so hopeless and, and so empty inside that I turned to drugs yeah. to numb my pain, to get me through. I was no longer Brittany. I became Jenna Presley. I became like this, I became, um, I became, I had an alter ego. I became my alter ego. And um, the drugs, drugs and, and alcohol just kind of helped me cope with things. You know, I know we talked a lot about the idea of fame, yeah. like wanting to be known or you know, that it was even more powerful than yeah. than drugs. I mean... My whole life I wanted to be an actress. I always wanted to be a model. And they want, they're gonna put me on camera, like, yeah, I'll do it. And I always felt like I had to say yes to everything because I felt like that's what was gonna give me that credibility as a star. What's that like? What would you say to those girls that you know who are in the industry and where they're at? You know, what do you say to that girl that wants to be famous and thinks that porn is the way to do it? Wanting to be famous my whole life, I guess, just, just was resorted into wanting to be loved and I guess I would just tell them that that sharing that side of yourself and becoming so empty and feeling so helpless like nobody like like there's just no hope you dig such a, a hole where you're just in this pit of self-pity it's just it's not worth it the feeling of of not caring if you live or die the feeling of you know what nobody loves me except for these fans who I'm actually really kind of like disgusted by because they see me in my most personal moments it's not worth it it's not worth it I would give it all back I mean I'm, I'm glad that I am where I am today but it, it wasn't worth it all those like lonely nights by myself like cutting on my wrist and and just feeling like what's gonna happen tomorrow and and I don't really care if tomorrow comes anyways wanting to die trying to kill myself spending all my paycheck on drugs feeling like oh well I made so much money I just made fifteen hundred dollars it's all going to drugs woo like where's the accomplishment yeah it, it's not worth it and I believe that as women we are worth it and we are worth love and we are worth real love and and you're not gonna get that love in the industry I just want every every woman, everybody in the world, but every woman in this industry to feel what real love feels like. Because if they're anything like me, we don't we don't know what real love is and, and we were searching, we're searching for it. Just thinking about you you there in the shows and I mean you were always so sweet, you are you're just generally a sweet person, but seeing how um, there's this demeanor of you now, there's a peace upon you, you know? It's amazing. Amazing to watch. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> literally, it blows my mind. It's yeah. so exciting. To hear a story of life change like yours is one that is not very common.
I feel like there's going to be so many more souls in that industry that are going to be saved. I feel like you guys have been praying. I feel like Jesus is going is is answering these prayers right now. Yeah. Well, look. I mean, look at you, girl. Look at you. I mean, get out of here. Like, I mean, no, but you name. Know